President Barack Obama's endorsement of same-sex marriage is disappointing, but frankly not surprising. In an interview with ABC News, Mr. Obama announced that he now supports legalizing same-sex marriage. It was the second time in his career that Mr. Obama has appeared to reverse course on the issue. In 1996, as a candidate for the Illinois State Senate, Mr. Obama endorsed same-sex marriage, but since winning national office first as a U.S. Senator and then as President, Mr. Obama has said that such couples should have access to all the legal rights and benefits of marriage through civil unions, but that marriage should remain defined as a union of a man and woman. The president's announcement that he supports legalizing same-sex marriage finally brings his words in sync with his actions. From opposing state marriage amendments to refusing to defend the Federal Defense of Marriage Act to giving taxpayer-funded marriage benefits to same-sex couples, the president has undermined the spirit, if not the letter, of the law. As demonstrated by the recent overwhelming vote in North Carolina redefining marriage remains outside the mainstream of American politics, especially in the critical battleground states and among minority voters. In North Carolina, the amendment received more than 60 percent of the vote in majority black counties. Considering that the 10, uh, 10 of the 16 battleground states have marriage amendments that could be overturned by the president's new policy position on marriage, the announcement almost ensures that marriage will again be a major issue in a presidential election. The president has provided a clear contrast between him and his challenger Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney, who has signed a pledge to support a marriage protection amendment to the U.S. Constitution, may have been handed the key to social conservative support by Barack Obama himself.